Too Tall Tony. That's what we call her. Too Tall Tony. What's my name? Triple T. Triple T. Ooh, it would be Triple T. Yeah. Isn't that a wrestler? Triple H. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe Tony could become a wrestler. I thought about it. Hello and welcome back to the Times Leaders Beer Gang. Uh, we're shaking things up a little bit this week because uh, this is the first time that we just straight up can't even pretend that we're talking about beer. Uh, we that's, have That's not true. We've done many things that weren't beer. Well, the uh, any of the hard seltzers that we've done have been beer-based. They, they were brewed like beer. Yeah. Malt uh, liquor. Yes, and nice. ciders are... Ciders are not beer. They're, they're beer adjacent. Yeah, yeah I, think they're in the, I think they're in the realm. Yeah. Um, but this time we're just having a mixed drink is, is what we're doing, which is totally not beer-ish at all. Uh, but uh, this week we're going to be talking about the uh, Beach Street Canned Vodka Sodas. Uh, we got one that comes with a splash of lime, uh, and it is, like I said, the first time that we're doing a canned mixed drink on this show. Um, this is uh, pretty cool. It has <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, five, uh, what is it? Five percent alcohol, so it's about as much as a regular beer. Hundred calories, if that's the kind of thing that you care about. One gram of uh, carbs from sugar, zero grams of protein, and zero grams of fat. Uh, I don't know why it decides to specify that you're not getting any protein from this. But yeah, I wasn't <laughs> thinking I would. No preservatives, no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, and no gluten for you people on gluten-free diets. Right. Oh, that's right. a big one. Yeah. So uh, personally, I like to add a little extra gluten in myself. Right. Just some that's flour. Just, just <laughs> off. So carry little packets around in my pockets. Yeah. Yeah. Packets of gluten. Uh, Sprinkle. So <laughs> continuing our tradition, uh, or our new tradition of having Joe try on air, uh, the three of us that aren't Joe uh, have all had it ahead of time. Um, what did everybody think? Let's start with Kevin this time. I liked it. I thought it was very refreshing. Uh, uh, you could taste the lime. Obviously, you could taste the vodka, but it's not overpowering. You said five percent mm. alcohol content. I think it's a good, you know, good drink to sip on, as opposed to you know, you get a vodka soda at a wedding. You're probably not drinking just to sip. You're probably drinking to drink. But no. I, I liked it. I think I'm a little curious as to like who the market is for a canned vodka I was thinking soda. The same I don't thing. know who. Is probably going to go out of their way for it, but it is very good. I I, I did really enjoy it. I would drink it again. I'm, I'm just wondering what issue you have with weddings that when you're at a wedding you feel you have to pound alcohol just to get through the event. I thought that it's, was what the point of a wedding was. Yeah. It's long. They're long. There's loud music, and I just got to be able to vibe, and that's how I vibe. Wow. Tony, what do you think? Um, I feel the same way as Kevin did, did pretty much. Uh, it was really refreshing. It tasted pretty good. I really liked the lime flavor. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing for me is that I would not pick this over a hard seltzer. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell that the vodka in it isn't Grey Goose or anything <laughs> particularly right. um, high end. Um, it does have that like cheap vodka burn. Um, that Sometimes you, you want that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like if I if I want that, I'll have a vodka soda that didn't come in a can um or you know right i yeah i i liked this a lot uh unlike you i think i might like it more than a hard seltzer uh i think uh it has a very bold flavor to it obviously from the vodka but also i think the lime comes forward mm -hmm. a lot a lot more than than uh some of the hard seltzers that we've tried it's this has a lot of flavor to it which has been consistently my complaint about hard seltzers uh, that they're very muted. Uh, so if this is the kind of thing that you that you like, like you want something that's refreshing, but you think that hard seltzers are a little weak, this might be for you. So so it has vodka in it. It does. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. What would you think? You <laughs> bought it. Uh, I thought it had lime in it. It does have well, lime, and it also has vodka. Oh. Uh, let's talk about the price point a bit. How much were these when you bought? I believe the the four pack of four 12 ounce cans was nine ninety nine. So it's a little right. bit pricier than what you would pay for a a, a six pack of uh, beer because you you get fewer, and you know it's a, so it's a little pricey. It's probably if if you're inviting a bunch of friends over to watch the ball game right. and you're and you're going to need a case of it you know you're probably going to want to get beer because it's going to be a little bit more inexpensive or just get a bottle but, of vodka and a bottle of soda right, water right. like you 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, the same effect, it might right, be even better. I, I agree, because at, at 5% alcohol, like it's roughly as alcoholic as a beer. Yeah, just like a standard beer. But significantly more expensive exactly. uh, for, for the four packs. So but only 100 calories. Only 100 that. calories. Uh, yeah, but a so, regular vodka soda is comparable, you know? Right. Right. So, like like Kevin said, I am curious who the audience for this actually is, uh, because you would probably save money by just making the, the vodka soda yourself. And when a mixed drink, its name is its ingredients, you can do that at home. So, Joe, why don't you try it? Well, let's try it. Let's, well, first of all, I, I don't know where you get the coastal lime. Like, I know where I get a lime. On the I coast. Know, well, I, I'm not on a coast. Like, I'm... I could go to Edwardsville and get a line, but a would it be the East Coast? You go to the coast of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. You go to the <laughs> Delaware River. Yeah, oh, okay, and you get your lines there. Yeah, you just, right, right just out fish of them out of the river. <laughs> Let, let's try this then. It smells like just like maybe a Seven Up or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it just, I don't even taste the lime to be honest with you. It really? just kind of tastes like soda water to me. I, I, it doesn't seem to have, like, I'm not getting any type of alcoholic flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Just gotta drink a lot more really fast. Yeah, just chug it. it. Just yeah. pound it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess there's a little bit of taste of lime to me. I mean, it tastes like a, tastes like a soda. I don't know that I would get this again because, like, uh, if I want to, if I, if I want a vodka, I, I like the flavored vodkas and I usually just drink those as shots chill. Mm. Uh, so. Oof. I don't know that this probably won't be something I would would get again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the kids like it. Yeah, right. It's like it's very good if you're looking for it. I just don't know who the person who's yeah. looking for it is. I, and I think to uh, to everyone's point, if you, I think if you want to get the ingredients and make one yourself as opposed to buying it out of a can, you could also control the pour. You could also you know level it the way you want. Some people exactly. like to hammer the vodka in there. Some people like to keep it more soda. And I think. When right. you have the the option to control that yourself, it's probably more appealing than buying it out of a can. Maybe if it maybe if it had a more exciting flavor than just uh, a little bit of lime in it. Uh, if it was you know like a strawberry lemonade or a you, you probably had that option when you when you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I I don't remember. There were other flavors there, but there were other flavors that did not interest yeah, me. Yeah, I hope which just, is, I'm I just glad you didn't lime. get cherry. Right, I think that cherry. was I think that was the other flavor, and I, I think that's, that's fine. see maybe I, I would have like liked the cherry. I think they might have had a black cherry. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like black cherry flavor. Mm. No. Well, there you have it. Yeah, uh, I think that does it uh, for this week's episode of the Beer Gang or the Vodka Soda Gang, I guess. Um, <laughs> If you like what we do here and you want to help support us, remember that you can uh, subscribe to us by uh, giving us a call at 570-829-5000. Uh, and remember that there's all sorts of benefits that come with that, like the TL Cares giveaway. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if you're a subscriber to the Times Leader, you're automatically entered in the TL Cares program, which means each week we randomly select a $1,000 winner one thousand dollars that's a lot of beer and pizza if you're not a tl subscriber you can still register for the tl cares program each day by picking up a copy of the times leader or our e edition finding the secret code and going to timesleader.com backslash enter and entering the secret code times leader subscribers can get extra extra i'm telling you additional if you don't know what extra means <laughs> entries by doing the same thing. And that's, uh, it's $1,000 per week to the winner plus a $1,000 uh, donation to the charity of the winner's choice. And then also all of our weekly winners are automatically entered well, I think, into- I think everybody has a chance to win the $25,000. Well, there's a $25,000 grand yeah. prize at the end of it all, uh, which you can also win. And that, that comes, it's November 26th. We're giving that away just in time for Christmas. You'd be able to buy me a really nice Christmas gift with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could make some payments on my car. Uh, but that does it for this week. Tune in next week to see what it is that we end up doing.